everybody else, your host Pro. Welcome back to Love Games. We're playing a little Life is Strange through colors. Uh, we're here in Chapter 4 in the Spring Festival. And uh, we're going to see what we can get up into. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section. And let's see more of the story. Yeah. I can't wait to see this mystery band tonight. Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Nice. Two thirty two. 233, 234. No. Eesh, this thing has seen a few spring festivals. What's with a big dent? Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people? <laughs> what could go wrong? Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. There's no graceful way to sample everything on this so table. Then, where's the after party this Eleanor year? must be relieved after that the festival party? is finally here. Come on, young man like God. yourself. You must I just know hope what Riley is doing all right. Oh no. Honestly, I'm getting pretty what bushed. What happened to Riley? Thinking of calling it a night soon. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Aw. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. That was amazing. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. Who's going first? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Oh, snap. <laughs> Eleanor I likes to party. Enjoy That's your hilarious, night. Though. You too. Poor Riley. Waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. I wonder why. Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love what you've done with your bar. Well, that happened last yeah. probably around <sighs> this game is so demoralizing why do i do this to myself hmm maybe i can help him somehow another year another prize gift card for yours truly to keep i'm such a little devil really Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. This is impossible, right? Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Oh, that's cool. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. 
That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. I'm on to you, jelly bean lady. Hey, I've got another guest. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Nice. Thank you so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. He's angry. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Best spring fest ever. And so she's gonna rage eat that entire jar, isn't she? I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. That's a cool diorama. Wow. This is a beautiful model. All right, Jed. When there you be on some It's been a hell of a month. Comes racing out but of the diner. Bowl makes it all a couple of tables along. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. I see here. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. What? No marshmallows? Come on. I get the feeling she's really enjoying herself. This is awesome. Funny Favorite time pass. of the year, by Remember far. That, that kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Sit by the fire for a moment. That's a nice bonfire. So this is that up. whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Hotel Happy Spring Festival Haven Community Bank Shalana Sullivan. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I, I haven't seen her take, around. Where is she? Take sec, just wanna take a second and say how wonderful Haven is. My purchase always remind me how lucky I am to answer this. I am to call this place out no place will ever come close. You're not so bad yourself. Jelly bean, you guys can this has ended. Congrats to our winner. Heck, thank you so much for the boss crap. That was going on till midnight. Normally, but we had a perfect guest. No way someone actually won it this time. I'm surprised it's been what, four years? I think it's five. Two faced bitch. It really is. Uh, let's stand up for a better day. Oh, want to answer about flowers. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. Haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. I heard the call.
and I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. Yeah. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. Well, she did beat your ass. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> Somebody's looking at her. That's creepy. Take it easy, dude. Yeah. You too. Man. Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Thank you, Steph. Along Thanks way, for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Undead priest. Oh, they find the sister. The sister. Good luck with that sign. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Titrus is me. not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. I didn't expect to be able to walk the whole town. Grand opening. We'll come back for us. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I seen you smile like that. My bad. What are you so happy about? We are ice cream about? geniuses. We run this like shit. That. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. That dragon shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it as soon as you yeah yeah i scream you scream we all scream yeah. gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening these people won't be so gracious forever we might i'm glad someone's opening the diner again i'll take a coupon no coupons my dear just tell me your name and i'll remember it all right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town. I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. Nice. May the best small town diner win. Are you angry dude? serious right now? A boot? A fucking boot on Too my Too bad I can't arm. unlock doors with my emotions. Whoa, dude. Because one, we have two, three, I control. Me, one, two, fuck! I don't control shit! Oof, sorry, man. We I love that there. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Could be. But are you? Not really. But it's nice of you. 
right. Even Steph's signs are badass. Anything at all going on? I have a surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out! I didn't expect that him playing my favorite Everyone game would be a turn way. on. The but nurse, she's adorable. Here we are. I'll be real with you right now. This game is sick. I love it. All right, you. I guess. That's as far as I can go. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. to change my entire life. I've been there. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. <laughs> my bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> hey, by the way, she has dementia or Alzheimer's. I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? You need to tell us. I 100% think you can tell Riley, her. I think there's something you should know. It's kind of a long story, but I found out that Eleanor has Alzheimer's. Oh, fine. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot to take in. God. I had my suspicions, but... I need to go home and talk to Nana about this. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm sure it wasn't easy to tell me this. Sure. Yeah. Good luck. I've been trying to tell you for two chapters. been trying to tell Riley about Eleanor for two chapters. And every time it's always came back to something happening or prevented that from working. I don't know where Steph is, but can we have heard the rose? Yeah, she seems to have had more chemistry with Alex than Ryan. I think it's funny that you just start in the middle of the boulevard. Rose can wait for now, but 
I should give it away before the music starts. That's sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench, just to be safe. to give him a hug does he think that i think it's not a date if this is a date it's a really silent one should i not have worn cologne is that too try hard maybe i didn't wear enough oh he'll get the hang of this one day or not is just awesome. Maybe I could... Give her the rose. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude. Thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Holy fuck. She gave me a rose. Time to step it up, Gingrich. Hope I'm ready for... whatever I've started. Can you hear me? I said... You know what? Never mind. Alright. I think we thought... Never saw Ryan. Right. Oh, there he is. I don't think Ryan can go a day in his life without being helpful to someone. Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, thanks. Uh, man, this show rules. It's, uh, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy, that's Steph. We're Drugstore Makeup from Seattle. We've got, um, merch. Dude, count me in, I'm dying. Bye. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait, who else? Steph. You had to make her play. play. I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. This is going to be awesome. Trust me. And before we get to that, since you've been in springs, happy spring staff will definitely need to make it except for our fortunately reopen. The brown bear diamond is off the three suits and salad and waiting for the next floor. Let me get in on that nice. I would like to have three soups and salad. What a great idea. I'll take you up to go. Hey, me. Looks like a successful promotion job. Whenever you decide to swing that lantern, 
Well, thank you, Jay. Very nice. Um, Jack, never heard from again. Knock it off with MLRT. Being a perfect, perfectly close. And never heard from again. Well, we have more than that. So. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it. So you gotta be. Drummer sets the beat. Usually guitar starts it. Oh, yeah, because it's a silent song. They're rocking out. It sounds perfectly like people chattering at a party. It's just so awkwardly fun to stand down. Rock out with absolutely no sound at all. Hey, check out this. Hey, Charlotte. How deep do you think the lake, I mean? I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now, it's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. That's odd. My whole That's life, me, but odd. I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better. There's no shame in needing to feel numb for however long it lasts. If it gets you through another day, I don't feel ashamed. But I take your point. Thank you. At least I can survive numbness. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. It is straight open. Uh, 
those. Hey, come meet me on the rooftop. Sure. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Neighbors? Come on. Back to the party. But I should get to the rooftop eventually. This is awesome! Favorite time of the year, by far. The Spring Fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. I don't want to be late for the surprise. There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Rose taken and delivered. God help me. Yeah, that's going to be a fight. There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Come on. Got to make it back to the land. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Well played, kitchen staff. Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. Mandatory night off? I'll take it. Hmm, I prefer my beer heavy. Ugh, not tonight. What about acute emotional kleptomania? Hey, you can't tell me what to do. Eleanor is like a mafia boss, except instead of crime. Go, Marmot! What's a Marmot again? Hey, Ducky, dear. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha, sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell.
Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Aww. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. Yes. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. All right. That's the one. Oh, yeah, I'm saying. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. I'm still not seeing anything else wrong. Oh, Sable over there. Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? Oh, oh Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Oh. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. This what? Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. So that finished. Is that everything? Something else is just not lit up here. I remember one of these had Nick Faraday and have a picture of Ducky. I'd still want to go back to it. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest. That's right. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. Spring Festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. 
Oh, that's we both awesome. loved it so much. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Brano? <laughs> sure did. That was a long time ago. Give me one sec. How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance. Oh, Becky. Yeah, the thing there's music for this one. It's never been offered up well. You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tab's. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Oh, that's good. Enjoy the festival. That's good. Glad to hear that. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. I don't know what to say. I want to be supportive, but... Hey, hey, come on. No time to be sad. We've got work to do. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. 
you're here, say the mass, Berlin, Berlin. Yeah, the ocean. Wow, nice pick. All right, tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. Sea Lab 2021. You could take a job at an underwater research lab. Maybe as like chief underwater acoustics engineer. You might need to walk me through that one. Dude, think about it. The kinds of sounds you could capture down there would be like totally unique. I could pioneer a whole new genre. Deep core. <laughs> Wet step. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To the ocean? <laughs> sure. Why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. You should have asked before all that. Look, I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Oh, that's cool. We don't have to decide anything now, okay? Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. That just made for a day. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so 
that happen. Alex, you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. Oh, snap. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Uh, kind of beer. Coffee would be great. You did coffee say coffee would be earlier. great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered. We're actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? You just say it was left in the car. At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. Order from who? The order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. Let, let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. It couldn't be computer fraud because she didn't do anything with computers. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. Say she made a duplicate of it it's all. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her. 
And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. <laughs> if you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Pike's really shaken. Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just... Focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of... T <sighs> Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? 
Not exactly. Coffee? How about a beer? How about a beer? Worth a shot. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but you know, evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. Have I have the evidence. Right here. It Not doesn't it. matter. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is... You stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's so a what criminal crime, Alex. Fraud? Five to ten, easy. She didn't steal a computer with a flash drive. She should never have admitted to the flash drive. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. <laughs> if you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Open me the back I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex... Please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. Who's scared? What are you so scared of? It's 
See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Pike's really shaken. A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Fuck me. It wouldn't be computer fraud at all. That wouldn't count. It would be theft. But they could be um, missing the theft. Because it's a very small flash drive. It wasn't in the We can't prove that she ever got on to And there's a lot of web on with that. Not correct at all. Yeah, here. Surveying Allen. Which is then Ryan. And Ben. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can go check in what's in that ravine even without any information from Alex. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Huh. So either sign the affidavit, say Steph and Ryan, risk taking type two. We're gonna sign that affidavit. It sucks, but we got our corner All know, I have to do is sign. Charges are fake. Yeah. <clears throat> Next marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Back to square one. Just like that. I'm so sorry, Gabe. Now, somebody else who leaves the contents of that. You have to drive somewhere else. Thank you, Alex. You did the right thing. He really didn't do the right thing. I think the other one will come back and bite her in the ass later. I actually don't know if it bite her. I think it would bite Stephanie Ryan.
I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure this is still gonna bite you. First, I need to get out of this dress. We're gonna call it an episode there. It had crashed on me before when I was going through this, so I'm hoping uh, um, if I save it quick, come back in, it'll actually have saved my settings. Last time it crashed in the middle of our interrogation with the police. But please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, comment with you guys in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the